six of the world's seven species of sea turtle are currently listed as threatened or endangered. It is estimated that 85,000 turtles were caught between 1990 and 2008 as bycatch, but this is only information from about 1% of all fishing fleets. Bycatch is the accidental capture of non-targeted marine organisms by fishermen. They are mostly caught in trawls, which are nets dragged along the bottom of the ocean. Sea turtles are currently threatened due to the many activities of humans, such as fishing, interfering with nesting processes, egg collection, and by the dumping of trash and other debris into the water. The Animal Rehabilitation Keep works towards the recovery of sick and injured animals. Well, I hope it's played quite a large role. I um, don't know the exact numbers, but um, we have probably dealt with about somewhere between four and 5,000 sea turtles, both dead and alive of which at least about half are dead when we find them stranded. So we look, we examine every sea turtle that's stranded um, in this area, uh, which is, and we're in fact the only people that do that. Common injury is uh, being hit by a boat propeller. Uh, Probably on a par with that is being, no, let me revise that, being entangled in fishing line. So, and the fishing line bites into the, uh, into the limb, especially around the neck and the, the front limbs, they often get uh, entangled. Then I would say being hit by a um, boat propeller, getting, um, ingesting plastic, um, getting entangled in plastic, um, getting entrapped, getting um, trapped in the jetty rocks, that's quite common. Out of the um, probably nearly 2,000 that came up alive, we've released about 1,200. So we have about a 70%, 60-something to 70% success rate. And uh, in particular, I think we probably affected the population of green sea turtles. That, um, Following the uh, the time uh, a century or more ago when they were taken for uh, for for their meat for packing, um, which literally just about wiped out the green sea turtle in this area, and uh, we've seen a huge uh, increase in, since we've been doing this. And I think part of that is almost certainly because we've successfully raised the ones that have been in trouble and sent them back again out again. Several beach patrons were asked about their knowledge of sea turtles and sea turtle protection. So this is my third uh, sea turtle release. It shows me that uh, it, it makes a difference when people try to, to conserve you know, uh, wildlife. So it's important. Did you know that all of the turtles that come up in the Gulf are all threatened or endangered right now? So if you were to ever see a sea turtle on the beach, what would you do? Um, and also, did you know that there's a turtle hotline to call in the event that you see one? I'm sure there is. <laughs> with a U.S. pamphlet, a fish license, it's illegal to catch or kill or take them with you. So I would release them. The National Park Service provides many programs for the conservation of sea turtles, such as hatchling releases. We have been inviting the public to come out and watch us release hatchlings in Padre Island National Seashore since 1978. Well, every year we have between about 15 and 25 hatchling releases that are open to the public. And we will be releasing collectively over the season thousands of hatchlings. 10,000, uh, maybe a little more, a little less, depending upon how many nests are found during the year. The Kemps are the most endangered sea turtle species. 
Fortunately, thanks to the hard work of many people in Mexico and the U.S., the population has increased from a low point in 1985. Uh, the numbers were increasing steadily, but they somewhat leveled off and have just had a, a much smaller rate of increase since about 2009. Many more efforts are being made towards conservation, such as modifications in fishing equipment. Turtle excluder devices, commonly known as TEDs, are used in current trawl nets. TEDs consist of a grate of bars that act as a trap door to release turtles and other non-targeted bycatch during a trawl. Since 1990, sea turtle bycatch has been reduced by about 90%. Using circle hooks and fish bait in longline fisheries can also reduce bycatch of turtles. The important, most important thing for people to keep in mind with sea turtle conservation in our area is is that all the sea turtles that occur here are threatened or endangered and they can be impacted by human activities. So we need the help of the public to aid with this conservation. We need your eyes and ears, so to speak. If you see a sea turtle that is nesting, we need you to stay back so you don't frighten her back into the water without laying her eggs. We need you to mark the nest and we need to have you report that observation immediately. We need you to drive very carefully on the beach if you're a beach driver because it's very difficult to see where these turtles, uh, when they're on the beach, it's very difficult to see them. They can become partially covered with sand. They blend with the sand and vegetation. Also, they tend to nest in the ruts of the beach vehicular roadway. So those are important tips. And also, if you find a stranded sea turtle, one that is washed ashore, either alive or dead, Please also report that so that we can document that turtle and we can take the dead ones into necropsy if it's in a condition suitable for that and of course the live ones into rehabilitation. People go to the beach in particular, let's talk about the beach where the turtles might be. Um, consider that place to be their domain for their pleasure and um, they often do not even see the animals that are there and people don't seem to think that disturbance, just sheer disturbance, time and time again is a factor that can affect the well-being of, of the animals. So well, my message to people is just stop and look at these things. Look, pick something up, take a look at it. We can make a difference. Make sure to throw away trash into proper containers. Pick up trash and attend trash cleanup events. If you see a turtle nest or a turtle in the process of nesting, make sure to leave it alone and to call the sea turtle hotline at 1-866-TURTLE-5.